When the epoxy hardens, take out the straws. And remember that the straws have a big part, a small part, and a bendy part. Measure from the end of the bendy part into the small part one and a half inches. That's about 39 millimeters. Mark and cut two straws. Mix up a small amount of epoxy. You need even less than before. Apply the epoxy in an even layer around the small part of the straw. Try to get little or no epoxy within a quarter of an inch or about six millimeters of the bendy part. The straws are that wide, so that'll help you gauge it. When you push the straw into the engine, leave about a quarter inch space sticking out before the bendy part. Coat the other straw with epoxy and put that in too. Here's why we don't put the bendy part all the way to the engine. The glue gets on part of the bendy part, then there's not enough left for the straw to bend and it kinks. The kink blocks off the straw. I hate to say it, but if this happens, you have to start over. So leave out a little straight straw before the bendy part. And for the same reason, if a big gob of glue gets on the bendy part, wipe it off with a towel before it gets hard. Because there's not going to be much stress pulling out these straws, you don't have to wait for the epoxy to fully harden before going to the next step. Maybe just 10 minutes or so. Measure and cut two straws. Mix up and apply a thin layer to the straws to glue them in. Measure and cut two straws. 